I think I should be live now. Hey. Uh, let's open up in game and find the track to start making the track. To continue, perhaps, is a better word. Let's update to the correct setup I use. So let's see what we have on the track so far. I gotta thank Mixel for sending me a better, way better photo for the overlay. The only thing is I don't wanna change the overlay now when I've started using one. But I will use that one if I need a reference to something. So I am getting some lag, that was interesting. Okay, so this lag sucks, for sure. Um, Shouldn't get on lag. I guess I'll just pop out the chat. Something I don't know. Seems pretty fine to me. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Before which tabletop? Uh, do you mean like? The one over the one over here. Like this tabletop. Do you think that that tabletop should have rollers before it or did I get something wrong? This jump? So either way, I f there was at least there's going to be a sort of single here. I'm going to try and add that to track. Place a gradient. As always. Uh, actually, I don't think there is any rollers before it, therefore I won't add any. So let's see. Just reading Facebook real quick. Yeah, that's actually a really old pit board. I've been meaning to make a new one. Just never gotten around to actually do it. Because I don't consider that too important. And I sort of like the one I have now. I don't love it, but it's okay. And also, the team I'm on, we're not really having... You must use a KTM. Or previously, at least, it's been use whatever you feel like. Pretty much. Okay, so that's going to be a too big of a roller, I think. So something like that, perhaps, at least to try and see how it looks. It looks pretty good size wise, but I'm just not sure. Uh, let's repaint it as it probably should be.
Sorry for all the Facebook things I'm getting. Let's see if I can mute the tab or something. Um, let's close it for a second. So let's see me getting over this single. So it's pretty small. I think it's somewhat good as we have now. I don't think we need to change too much. Stork and too popular. Uh, I don't really think I'm too popular. I would also confront you and say that I'm not popular at all actually. Never been, never will be. Just going to move this backward just a tad. Because if we look at... Oh, yeah, you're causing half of the Facebook things, man. You and Marcus. Must be a man of the ladies. I'm going to say, never have been, never will be on that one as well. Unless I become a billionaire, but that's a whole other thing. I think that looks decent. It was worth a try, man. Could have gone. So I'm going to save that and see if I can bring up the other map that I got the other day. So I'm just bring the map up here. And as you can see, the quality is way better. This one. So I'm just going to sort of try and see how the turn here should translate. So I think I've got it somewhat right. I got a PM here. I'm going to make changes a little bit later on once the complete track is done, I think. Or like when the actual layout is done with heights and stuff. I think it's easier to make the changes at that time. So let's move on to the doubles here. So we can see a few seconds ahead. have a berm and a set of three doubles so I guess they're about here one two three four five So this is apparently the fifth one, I think. Uh, so let's see here. I'm 
they're quite high actually. You know, they don't seem that high, but for how short they are, they are quite high. So the first one sort of has a tabletop ish to it. Say that. And it's so hard to see from the map here. One, two. I'm just going to make a guess here. So I'm just trying to figure it, figuring this out, and it's quite hard as you can tell with this bad map. So definitely we have one there. We have one here. One there. I'm a little bit unclear about that one. If it's actually one or not. Uh, but we have one, two, three, four ups, if you want to say that. That means we should have something like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. So there's apparently one too many. I'm just going to spread them apart a little bit more instead because I think that they that will make more sense in the track editing or it, like when you ride the track so let's try and shape them and I say why I did this is I just want to create sort of an image of how it should look like how it is supposed to it, the spacing and stuff. Just answering a text real quick here. So let's see, this one should be curved. Curve, curve, curve. This is the second part about making doubles and stuff because you you could triple them. In, you could do make them to triples, tripling in real life. But as far as when I competed and my concern, if you would do that, you would pretty much just die. So um, you have to sort of try and make it so you can't really do two unrealistic lines, which sucks because. It sucks not being able to do that. But I don't know. So 
So this should be the last kick. Everything here is probably way off in size, but we'll wait and see in a few seconds. As you can see, they don't look too bad compared to in real life, but it will be no fun for MXM, that's a problem, really. And this is when it's tough to make decisions, because you gotta make a decision whether you want to remove some yamp, make them way too small, or just something because as you can see here it's a such a steep landing if you would land there so you can't really land which is the point I was trying to make to so let's see what happens if you triple in there and that's pretty much what I wanted if we look at the video footage you can see that the down downsides are pretty steep So sort of a tabletop here for the first one, pretty steep landing and pretty pretty steep, it's not super steep in any way but it's relatively steep at least. So let's watch it one more time. I don't think I double these two doubles on the whole session here. I'm just not feeling comfortable when I have to jump and land on another thing. At most times. So let's see here. I'm going to skip back. I'm going to start with making the berm instead. It will be slightly easier to judge things once you have the proper berm. And if we look at this, it's a pretty nice berm. If we look at this photo, we can see that it's pretty perfectly squared too. So let's start with the berm then. New gradient. This is where you want the berm to go. Drag this out there. This is the middle of the berm, the highest point. Let's try and see how that works out. Focus the zero. I think that looks pretty good. Just going to remove it once more to see. I would like to have a flat top because that makes quite some sense. I think I 
raised a little bit too much, perhaps not. Got to fix the traction at some point. I'm actually satisfied with that berm, so I'm going to press save to save it. It looks pretty, pretty good. So I'm going to reshape these ones because they were terrible, especially this one was way too much. Yeah, I think making them a little bit lower could solve the issue. I'm actually going to make kick going off of this one a little bit earlier too. So let's try this one again. Let's see if we got any more luck this time. They look better just as of now. I, re I have a few doubts that they will actually be. As you can see, I'm able to crawl into this one if I'm trying to. You get a point. It's way too. You can way too easily quad if you want to. But let's try and write it as it should be written with double double. It makes sense. The jumps. Is it perfect? No. Unfortunately. I'm going to remove those two. Rots and bumps could potentially fix the solve the issue with people quoting and stuff. But I would I'm going to try that later, but it would make it hard to do that in a fair way where the runs r bumps and ruts aren't too big. But I will keep that in mind, that was a great suggestion. So with a 450 you could pre 
probably pretty easily quad into that. But I feel it's wor where it's at at the moment is that I'm happy enough with the doubles. In worst case scenario I can go back and redo them later on if I have to. So that's always something. Uh, I'm just going to check here real quick. Let's see, we've been streaming for 26 minutes. Yeah, I did see your message on the forum, so I'm just going to pull it up in a bit here. Uh, I actually have the message up at the moment, so that was quite funny. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Wow. New group, lots of things. It's a lot of things happening on my screen right now. Uh, Uh, the last jump here, uh, do you mean the jump over here? So, do you mean this jump I'm going up right now with this speed bump before? So is it this one that you want, uh, let's see here, you wanted this one to be a little bit higher, steeper and longer, or not necessarily longer, but you would like it to be a little bit steeper and high, uh, pretty much steeper and higher, if I understood you correctly. And is that for a real life factor or a fun factor in your opinion to make it higher and steeper? Also I have to ask you about these doubles. Do you think that they're sort of close enough to real life because it's really hard to make yub double so you can't quad pretty simply pretty simple okay that's good now uh, I think that somewhere along the start straight so let's see here so we do have yet another single let's try and make that so the single should be about there. That would be here on my screen, I think. Uh, I feel like it's quite similar to this one. Hi Sergey. Uh, do you mean like on the sort of uh, uh, that jump you're talking about right now? Do you mean this one that I'm writing to at the moment? This particular one. You 
You mean this one jump that I tried to do but failed pretty hardly. Oh, do you mean the doubles then? Oh, uh, this track is a Swedish track uh, in the city of Stenungsund. So it's a replica track I'm trying to make for eventually make a Swedish championship. I think I feel that here. You mean like that, sort of? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to have to try and make those adjustments once the track is more done with the traction and bumps and stuff. It's really hard to tell before. I think you could sort of do it, but it's it will not be a consistent race line, I think. It will perhaps be a super fast qualifying lap. but. If you're going to prevent those lines, you're going to have to make scale and shape and stuff way off. I think I've prevented the triple in there at least pretty good. Uh, so, let's go back to see here. I think that one and. I think they're close enough, I would say. So let's see. There is people that have been able to triple in. Okay, so that's cool. The only thing I'm worrying about is that people would do that <coughs> like a lot. <coughs> if I take a look at uh, the helmet cam footage I have here, it is obviously doable to triple in, but I just don't think the landing looks quite good where you would want to do that lap of the lap. Awesome. See you on YouTube, man. And here comes the big step up. Du, 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 du. <coughs> so this is going to be a trick one to make. Uh, let's see here. Save. But is this wide enough? The speed jump? That's wide enough. Let's see. It is a big one. That was something I did not expect. So the landing is about this point, I would say. Let's say the face is length is one hundred and eighty foot. I think that would make for for a great sim jump. It's not too realistic, but it would be good for MX simulator. So let's see. Should actually make the gradient a bit further, I think, to get it where you want it to be. Set from terrain. So 
something like that. So let's see this jump in the GoPro footage. So it has a really big face to it, that's for sure. I remember the jumps like something like that. Has a pretty short landing too to it. So let's see here. And this jump is massive, unless you're really good. I don't think I have camera of anyone doing it that. I would say I actually have to start the jump earlier than what I have. going to flatten it out instead. Oops. Set from the rain. Uh, you can link me a video to that track on the forum and I can check it out. I, don't, I won't be making any track requests for a while because I have quite a lot of things to do in my life as it is. But I, w I could definitely check it out if you want to. Really?
Sorry for being quiet, I'm just trying to figure out this yump here. See how it could be made in a good way. At least now it starts to look a little bit more as it feels in real life. The only thing I have to do now is make the face a little bit steeper. I think I'm going to make the landing a little bit higher too. Because this jump is really really big so I want to try and make it as it feels in real life. Be right back. So I am back. There was a guy calling about a, an apartment that we wanted, but we was not able to get it unfortunately. So I'm just trying to make it a nice angle here. It's really hard to make a good one, like with several points and stuff, because I want to make it a little bit steeper than it currently is. As you can see, I'm flying to the moon and back, unfortunately. It is about how I would like it to be. I just think the parts are a little bit too high. So I'm going to pull down this a bit here. I think this looks better in proportions. If we can just get rid of whatever kick that was in there, and I think this is going to be really good actually. about where it should be now. So this is the kick I'm talking about. I think something like that would make it 
better. Inner paint. And for this time I'm actually going to try and paint up the jump as it would be That looks about right. I'm going to save it because I like how the jump turned out. And the landing is pretty small as in real life. A little bit too far. Yep, that seems really good to me. I'm really satisfied with that. I just wish I could jump this jump in real life. I'd be so happy if I could. So what we have to do now is to fix the thing here in the middle. Most of the time I try make things like this one at the very end of when I make tracks. But I don't think it's going to work too well making it at the end this time because I need to make it lower around here to make the jump working as it's intended. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to copy this small gradient I have saved over here. Uh, apparently that set from terrain that should make it static. I'm going to make it really really small. So it's pretty much small like that perfect set from terrain and you can pretty much have pick like a color picker whatever in Windows or Photoshop I want this height okay then you get that height still not really where I want it to be so linear we will have to use linear paint. I would have preferred if we didn't have to.
still a little bit too high up as from where I would like it and you can spot the difference here between in height from the, the landing and the cider and that's what I wanted I'm going to use this, set this to race only so I don't accidentally delete anything from the track uh, by taking one more look at it I'm actually going to make the berm first I think tough decisions to make new gradient set it in the berm here something along the lines of this I would say That's about where I would want the highest point to be in the berm. This might look super weird, but I'm going to make, I'm going to add, try and add things later on, so that should make more sense. So let's try and add it to the track. Should be radial add. going to repaint this once again here as it's a shorter exit on this side and a wider one on that uh, that did not really turn out great sort of as I wanted still not exactly Okay, so that last one was one too many. I think that's pretty good because it's a little bit lower here than it's the maximum height as you can say and then drops down a little bit faster on this side than the other. I 
I would say that's a pretty good burn. I'm happy how that one turned out. I have streamed for 56 minutes. That was laggish. Okay, so this is done. So let's see, we have straight up here, we have on the outside. And along this jump. So I'm just going to try and make some stuff happen, race only. So to summarize this, this is too wide. So we have four. Let's try and get it down to two. That seems a lot better. So I think I'm really satisfied. I'm of course going to smooth it out and stuff. Just want want it here as a reference when I'm making the other jump. So I'm just going to add this height to the outsides and stuff. Because as you can see here on the left, a the other jump, we can see that it's high up here. And I'm not really sure if how it's going to look. Then you have to cut down into the ground. I know that this is too long too, perhaps. Looks pretty good. Let's try and make this jump. So it's a small one, as we can see. I'm going to make it small then. I think I'm going to make it a little bit bigger than it would be in real life. Because you have a big downhill and downhill jumps are always fun. The reason I'm selling this from terrain is because I'm going to have to paint from these levels. Uh, and after the jump I am going to have to make it underground level. Below ground level might be the correct term to use. So let's see.
let's see if this seems to make any sense. Once again, we have to use linear paint. I have to remove the race only because we are going to make it lower after here. made no sense whatsoever neither did the one on the outside Would you prefer that I, you, if I could get a hold of people on Skype, would you prefer that I talk to people while I'm doing this, or would it be better if I'm just doing it by myself, as I'm doing at the moment? too big I can already tell perhaps this is going to be a bit better linear paint once again I'm going to fix this later on, I'm just going to make this as a test to see how the jump is turning out. So I think the length of the jump is pretty good. I'm actually going to raise it a bit because I think it's a little bit too short or too low. Even though it's really low in real life, I think it's a little bit too low. So let's see what we can do about that. <laughs> Try this one out. I think that seems really, really good actually. killing the rev limiter.
way too far falling off as I should. Uh, how am I going to make this? The only reason I'm making this a little bit longer is because, as you can see, it's almost spiky. Something like this. As you can see, it's spikes. May have to go a little bit closer as the. They just disappeared as you got closer, but you can see there's small spikes, especially now. I'm trying to get rid of those. And if we look at this, we can see that this is going under the ground level all the way until the second jump here. And then it's sort of still going under the ground level. So I might actually start by making something like the Linus of this. Bitch. Hey Christopher. What's up bitch? Base. I you have to pronounce that for me. B E J J cell. So could this I think this could be the jump here. Take off and then landing. Let's see if that distance seems correct. If we page. Uh so let's see if the distance here seems correct if we look at Correctness seems the the distance seems pretty reasonable. Again, you might think this is super weird what I'm doing at the moment, but I'm simply just going to try and create these different levels of height before I So it's so little difference right here. Could just even do this, just raise it a bit. Like Something like this. Mm. 
No, actually was too far up to see that. Smooth, strong, make everything look clean and smooth. So my intention here was to originally delete what I've this jump and redo that, but I've just realized that I did too many things down at the bottom to be able to do that. So I think I'm going to have to save it as it is. And I think I could the linear paint race only. Go pretty close. Something like that. I would say that looked more as the real life. That's I'm obviously still going to have to smooth it out. Oh shit. I think that looks really really good actually. If we go back here again. So it's about the same height here, a little bit above. So we can see it's a little bit above the sides there. And then we need to make it a little bit downward slope in this section. So I am going to save, because I'm really happy how this turned out. Just going to have to read one thing here, let's see, let's see first, I've been streaming for 1 hour and 14 minutes, I think it's about enough to make it, to make this section finish before I have to end the stream, I would say so. I'm going to... As I said, I've just, I just have to answer one thing here. Uh, so I'm just going to play this for you in the meantime.
So let's get back to we were. We were. Okay, so let's see here. Let's start by. I don't know what. That looks like an edge. So I'm just going to get away with that one. Uh, so let's start with placing the second jump here. And if we look, we can see that we get halfway around the turn, sort of. And the landing is before that single. So the landing should be before this one, and I think this could be a pretty good landing. And it looks like it could be a pretty decent jump here. I'm just going to have to see if I can make this lower and better. So this is the same height. So let's remove all the points. So at this point I'm just really trying to get so we stay beneath the ground level on both sides until the new jump I'm going to make here. So I think it seems pretty good. And if we look at the footage. We can see that it's lower on both sides. The wreck's lower, lower before the jump here. And the jump comes. So my only question here is if this is wide enough. I think I could make it a little bit wider. Whoops. Delete the last one there. That's one thing that sucks. If you have made two clicks and then they want to delete one of them, that's not always possible. That can be really, really frustrating. I think this looks much more like what you expect it to look as. Still, I think I cut a little bit too much on this edge here. I think this looks pretty good. Seems pretty good too. Because if I take much more on the other side, there will be pretty much nothing left. So let's back up once again to see. I mean, it's not extremely wide. Uh, da, 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 da. 
so let's say that this is good. So I'm just going to make the edges a little bit smoother here, so you want to get a really, really choppy look. It's not perfect, but it's, it is at least in an improvement. I know that this is not the way it's going to end up, I just want to see height and stuff, how it looks. Just going to make it a little bit wider, as it's so difficult to tell from a too narrow thing, I think. I'm going to try and tackle this in another way because I want it to be a little bit higher so I'm going to make the takeoff earlier and higher because I want it to be a downward slope and also be room for a landing in some way So that jump is probably way bigger than the real life one, but I still want to see about how it it looks. I think that seems fairly fairly realistic and pretty fun factor ish too. So I'm just going to repaint it. Mm-hmm. 
I actually need to move up the tile map a bit, I see now. Tile map. We've been streaming for about one and a half hour. Nice. Whoa. Wish. Really? I did not see that one coming. outside playing music feels like you don't get enough height from the arm but if I would add more height you would fl fly so freaking long it would be just stupid Seems fairly good to me. I'm just going to make one little change. That is this part. I think that's about as good as it's going to get. Because this is one of those classic jumps where it's really really hard to balance it between real life, real angle and stuff and make it raceable in sim. So I am going to call this as good as it's get for now. I'm going to smooth out this little piece here. Uh, let's try to see how it's can't notice really any it just something it just it just uh, or something along the lines. So what I will have to do at a later point, in my opinion, is to raise this part of the grass here, perhaps a little tiny bit, to make it more realistic, what I'm pr correct is probably the best word I can come up with. And I will also have to add, that actually just seems to be grass. But uh, usually banks, things along the sides, bumps, banks, piles are at a later point. So that would be probably, I, I think I could fiddle with making this look clean.
Just spamming that button. I think that looks okay. I mean, it shouldn't look picture perfect. Perfect. So we've been live for 1 hour 35 minutes, it's soon race only. I'm going to have to end this, but I want to make a little bit more on the track. So I am going to add a little bit out here. Let's say that that's enough. I know that it's not perfectly flat, but that perfectly flat doesn't exist really anywhere in nature, so it have to be it has to be a little bit imperfect. To make it realistic. Because I don't think you have really seen too many tracks where it's perfectly flat. But anywhere I mean there's always going to be there's always going to be really flat tracks, but there's no ground that no place here on earth that's perfectly flat all over. Wow. I did not see that one coming. Okay, so the car guys outside just turned up their music. Wow. I don't mind the music as much as I don't want people to get disturbed in chat or in the video. I mean, this, this looks reasonable for a berm, an outside of a berm. At least if you ask me. So let's see what we have accomplished in one and a half hours. So what we have done is, starting from here, we have added a single to this turn. We have added a berm and three sets of doubles. 
So one, two, three. We've added this single for the sort of mountain ish section here. We fixed a big step up. We've fixed the downhills, two jumps there, and as well as elevation along those sides. So I think we've accomplished pretty much today. I'm really happy with how everything came out. To me it looks and feels pretty much as it looks and feels in real life. Obviously things here are too big, but uh, that is going to be one thing. I'm actually not going to smooth this out because it doesn't disturb that much and I'm either way going to add ruts and stuff later on. So that thing is not going to be anything to worry about. Obviously you are going to be able to do that in real in this game as it would not have been in real life but once again it's the complex thing about making stuff fun versus completely real life. I'm actually, I can show you one track I have that's scale one to one, more or less. And it's it's a good track, yeah, it's sort of fun to play, but everything is so small, it's ridiculous. So I'm going to, currently working on decals for this track. So this track is pretty much scale one to one. I mean, look how short everything is. And these jumps, they're, they're not big, but they're not small, like super small. Especially this jump we're coming to right now is you can fly so far off of the jump. I mean you wouldn't even call that a jump here, it would just be a big bump I think in the mix simulator. And this one is the most normal sized jump and you can see it's so short, at least what it feels like. This one is just awkwardly shaped in real life too. This is the track I grew up on, so it's my local track. Or it's no longer the, my local track, but it's still pretty local. So that's how real life compares to Sim. So thanks for watching. I will, will stream making tracks upon how much time I have. I would hope that I have more time to stream this week, so I will probably see you guys tomorrow if you're willing to tune in, so thanks everyone for watching, it's been fun, so see ya tomorrow.